Hey there everybody, welcome back to Real Deal Fishing MB. Uh, we have a special video today. Today we're doing something completely different. You'll notice that we're not out fishing. Today we're going to do a cooking video in a special segment we've called Cooking with um, Colby. Cooking with Colby. You want to say what flavor that one is? Uh, we're doing all the different flavors of catch and cook breading. This one is spicy. Okay. And this one is the new one. It's lemon flavored. So lemon we, pepper. So we just picked that up at the ice fishing show last weekend. So we're really excited to try that one. And the last one is the original oh. crunchy. What we'll do is Colby's going to cut up the fish in a second into some bite sized pizza, pieces. And then we will soak it in some milk and egg. Uh, coating in there and we'll dredge the fish in there once we get it wet and uh, that's it and we're going to see which one's the best and we are also cooking corn on the top and shrimp yeah we're good. Mm -hmm. okay okay so we'll change the camera around and we'll start uh, cooking our fish see you in a second size pieces will be about like this big and yeah. Does look okay? Yep. Are these pieces big enough? Those are looking just perfect. That one's probably big enough by itself. Yeah. So there's our egg and milk wash. And start just putting them in here. We're also babies, um, dog sitting. Um, two dogs right now, so um, if you have a dog, we could babysit your dogs. Yeah. There's a shout out to our Rover services. We love babysitting dogs. So you can find our profile at rover.com. And we're babysitting dogs right now. Two dogs named um, Lulu and Chanel. A French bulldog and pug. I've always wanted to babysit a pug. And now we finally got the chance to. And they're really hoping we might drop something, but this stuff is going to be too good to drop. So, Mark, the not real deal, <laughs> is um, doing the flavors right now. The lemon pepper smells amazing. You can really smell the lemon in that one. This one's the crunchy. So I'm doing just under a cup for each, each one to start, and hopefully that'll be enough. And here comes the spicy. So I read the ingredients for this one and all it said it had for spice in the seasoning was salt and it cayenne. Smells good. Small, salt and cayenne pepper in this one. So it probably won't be that spicy. Mm, might be pretty spicy. Cayenne pepper can get pretty hot. So that's spicy, crunchy, lemon, lemon pepper. pepper. And the lemon pepper smells amazing. So this one's... shake it until the fish are covered. The lemon pepper one is really strong of uh, smell. So right now the smell for the lemon pepper is winning. But we'll shake it up and see after we cooked it if it's the best because it's really strong, so it might be the best. But we don't know that. <clears throat> so, this is what it looks like. Covered up. So, and this is how much we have left from it. And we still have two more.
flavors left and original and spicy. All right, here goes our first batch of fish into the hot oil. So this is the lemon pepper. Colby did an awesome job getting the coating on this. It's the coating they really good. All right, well, let's let that cook for a few minutes on each side. And then we'll have our first batch of lemon pepper done. And while that's cooking, Colby's gonna start breading with the crunchy, original crunchy flavor. All right, that's been a few minutes on each side. I'm just taking a temperature check to make sure they're fully cooked. And it looks like they're good. Okay, and here's the second batch. This will be the crunchy bag that if you wanted an extra crunch, you could just repeat the process of dipping the fish back into the egg and milk wash and then coating it again. And the more times you do that, the crunchier and thicker the crust would be. So we just did it once for each of the flavors. We did. All right, there's the crunchy in and we'll give that a couple minutes on each side. And these will be done in just another minute. Looking perfect. Okay, those are done, they're above, we're looking for some, anything over 145 not too overdone. Okay, and that's what the crunchy looks like coming out of the pan. So I'm not sure if it was just in my head, but I could, if it even felt crunchier trying to scoop it out on the spoon. But we'll see when we give it a taste. Third batch here. How's it looking, Colby? Done. All right, a couple minutes and this one will be done. And get these flipped over. They're looking amazing, just like the other ones. All right, we're getting within a couple minutes of trying this. Colby, the real deal is the egg texture. I've had okay. the... From the real deal, Mama. No, oh, so we haven't taken out a video. Very funny. So I've had to try and keep Colby off the stuff that's already cooked. She's been itching to taste. One more minute of being patient and these ones will be done. Pull these out. And now we've done one batch of each flavor. So we had a little bit of fish left over. So what we decided to do is mix the crunchy and lemon pepper together. And we're gonna see if we can make an even better flavor of crunchy lemon pepper. So here's the Cajun, it's looking good. All right, here's the crunchy lemon pepper, all mixed up and uh, it looks like it's gonna be even crunchier because some of the uh, wetness from the first batch of fish kind of made this a little bit crummier. And so there's some little blobs of breading that kind of balled up, which uh, are sticking to the fish and it's looking amazing. Okay, hey, that's it. A couple minutes for those and then we'll have a bonus flavor to try. Corn is done. That's looking good. Last batch of fish almost done. Alrighty, perfect. Batch number four. Okay, here's our finished product. We got uh, spicy, crunchy lemon pepper, and what we created as the crunchy lemon pepper. Alright, let's get to tasting. Okay, Colby says we're starting with the crunchy? Yeah. Alright, catch and cook original crunchy. Let's have a taste. So we're going to grade these on three different things. How they look for the color of this seasoning, um, the crunchiness and the texture and the flavor. Okay. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. So for the color, I would give it a three out of five. I would give it like four. A three four? Four, 3.5 for you. And then what would you give it for its crunch out of five? 
maybe in like two and a half. It doesn't have crunch. You don't think it's that crunchy? Okay. Mm -hmm. I, I was going to maybe give it a four just because there was a bit of a crunch to it. And then for flavor, what do you think? About like 4.5. 4.5, you like it. Colby prefers stuff that's not really spicy. Um, but uh, for flavor, um, I'm, I want to leave some room for the other ones. So I'm going to give it a three out of five. It was really good, but just a little bit plain for me, which is probably like Colby gave it a, what'd you give it a four? 4.5. 4 so Colby almost gave it a perfect flavor because that, I could see you really liking that taste. Okay, we'll start the next one. Okay, for the next one, do you want to do lemon pepper or Cajun? Mm -hmm. Let's do Cajun, so if it's too spicy, I'd rather just eat the original. Okay. This one looks a little nicer because I can tell um, it has a little bit of red spices in it, so it has a little bit more reddish brown color. So I like the color of this one a little bit better. So I can't remember what I gave the crunch. But I would give this at least a half or a point better. So maybe four out of five for color. I feel like it. Like three point five for Okay, let's have a taste. <laughs> the heat's slow, but it's coming. Is this, do you find it spicy? Um, the longer you wait, oh. yeah, it, <laughs> <laughs> it is a little spicy. For taste, I would actually give it like a three, not okay. not like a mono. Oh, that's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. But I, I really like that flavor, so um, I would give that flavor. It was like dang this. It's still like dang spice on my the side of my tongue, so I yeah. have to move my tongue over <laughs> to get the water. I really that like side. that. I really like that spiciness. So for flavor, that one I would give. I like the flavor more on that one, so I'd give it a four out of five. But it wasn't as crunchy, I would say that. So I would say for crunchiness, I would probably, it wasn't really crunchy at all. Yeah. So maybe like a, a two or two and a half. I feel like it was a bit more crunchy than the other one. Okay. So I would give it like 3.9. The other one is 3.5, right? Okay, so you want 3.9 for crunch? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. That I'm going to take a break. I'm going to get a less, uh, drink of water to clean up that spiciness and refresh my palate. And uh, so we can taste the lemon pepper. Okay, our mouths are cooled off from the Cajun or uh, spicy. And I would just say that spicy is, would probably make an awesome uh, spicy chicken sandwich. If you coated some chicken with that, put it in a chicken sandwich, that'd be awesome. So the last one to taste is the new flavor, the lemon pepper that we haven't ever tasted before. And then, isn't it like a mixed coating? Yep, and then our last bonus one is the crunchy lemon pepper. Yeah, so I'm tasting it right <laughs> The flavor to me is good. I like the lemon flavor to it. I thought of the pepper and salt um, mm -hmm. flavor until um, five seconds later, basically. I got a lot of um, lemon flavor and I don't like lemon or lime. Lots of lemon or lime flavored, okay. so. A little too much for you? Mm-hmm, so I would okay. give it like 1.5 for taste. 1.5 for taste, okay. I would so, say the color would be a four, similar to the Cajun, it looks good. Mm -hmm. The crunch would be similar to the Cajun as well. And then, you gonna give me yours? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the uh, flavor, I prefer, I would say I would prefer the Cajun to this one. And, um, I do like a little bit of flavor, maybe a little salty, but I would say it would be, I like the flavor a little bit better than the crunchy. What do you think? This is not your favorite. I, I didn't even have any crunch in mine, so I would give it like non crunch. Non crunch? I think it's similar to the other two. But I like didn't even focus on the crunch, so I don't even know okay. what it is. Do you want to try it again? No. <laughs> Okay, so this is our last taste test. So this is a mix of the lemon, lemon pepper, and the I'm crunchy. Water ready. Do you get your water ready in case it's yeah. too lemony? All right, let's have a taste. I'm hoping for a lemony crunch. Oh. I'm waiting for it. So definitely, this is definitely really crunchy. Like I said when I was breading it, I noticed that some of there is some little bit of balling up of the coating from the previous uh, batch. 
but um, I really like that. So like this is definitely the crunchiest. Um, so it almost tastes like it has a double layer. So I give this a five for crunch. It looks good, so I give it a four for crunch, or a four for the look. And then taste-wise, what do you think? Um, so I have to do um, crunch and look for it now. So I think the look is like a 4.5, and yeah. the crunch is like six out of five. You like the crunch, yeah. Yeah. So I'd really recommend doing a double layer of the breading because it makes it so much crunchier. And then I'd also say that this one doesn't taste as salty as a lemon pepper. It's not as lemony. But this flavor I like better than the crunch, and I like this flavor better than the straight up lemon pepper. I can't forget which one this is. Okay. Um, so for the taste for it, I probably would never say this, but it actually is kind of like four point like higher four, higher than 4.5 but lower than 4.8 so I don't really. So maybe like a 4.65? Yeah. Okay there it is a 4.65 for Colby. That's a very precise. So that's your favorite then? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Alright well we're done supper. We ate a ton of fish. I would say the more of all the flavors we ate the more we liked each one, I would say. We ate a ton of fish. Um, we had mom eating behind the camera. And what do you think, mom? You love them all? I love them all. This is by far my favorite fish breading. Yeah. I would say that this is better than what we make at home. Yeah. Even though we've experimented with lots of different breadings and spices and stuff in lots of our breadings and tried a few different recipes on our own, uh, I would say the ketchup cook stuff, all of it's really good. Yeah. So, okay, so down to the results. Do you want to go best to last, or do you want to go last? I accidentally ate that um, spicy one. I thought it was the original. Do you want to go from our least favorite to our most favorite, or most to least? Most to least. Okay. So number one, what was our number one for both of us? Um, Dad's what for lemon crunch was um, look was four. For him and I was 4.5. Crunch, mine was 6 and his was 5. And then taste, mine was 3.5 and his was 4. And that all adds up. I got 14. A 14 out of 15, so that's almost perfect. Yeah, and then... Mine was 13. Yeah. And I would say the big plus for that one was the crunchiness. So again, it tasted like it had a double coating on it. So that was uh, really boosted its score. I lost the real deal. Okay, the real deal is coming back. You just had to get some water and a shrimp. So for those of you who subscribe to our, our channel and know our family, you'll know that Colby getting easily distracted, he gets that from his mom. No. <laughs> what, you saying I get distracted sometimes? Yeah. Okay, what were we doing? Three. Scores? Okay, so number one was lemon crunch. Number two was the crunchiness, and or just the plain crunchy. So that was number two for both of us. Eleven out of ten uh, for Colby, a ten out of, or sorry, eleven out of fifteen for Colby, and a ten out of fifteen for me. So that was pretty balanced across the scoreboards. So not really super high on one or super low on the other, but right down the middle is pretty good. Um, so third place uh, for me, actually, the spicy. Uh, tied with the crunchy I had it at 10 and Colby actually had it at 10.4 so um, that was his number three but uh, Colby really liked the crunch on the Cajun by itself um, and then the one we liked the least was the new lemon pepper flavor um, so Colby had that a 5 out of 15 because he didn't like the crunchiness or the taste and for me it was an eight and a half out of 15. So I felt like I was pretty picky with some of these, so it was still really good. I just found it a little on the salty side. So overall, I would say that mixing the crunchy and the lemon pepper uh, ended up with the best. So it wasn't, uh, but still had a nice lemon flavor to it and uh, had an awesome crunch. So that was our favorite, the lemon crunch flavor that we created. Okay, so that's it. We are, we have full bellies, so it's time to clean up. Um, thanks for watching Cooking with Colby. Uh, th this was a really fun segment for us to film. We had a lot of fun. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, you like cooking? It was a lot of uh, hard work cutting everything up and getting it ready. Yeah, Colby did an awesome job. He did almost everything himself. So I did a little bit of the cooking, but Colby did all the all the cutting and most of the most of the coating on the fish. Um, so yeah, and we wanted to do something special. So if if you live nearby us and you know us and you leave a comment in the comment section, I think we want to film another um, cooking video. So. We need some taste testers, so if you want to be a taste tester, leave a comment below. And subscribe. And subscribe, yeah. If you haven't subscribed yet, be a subscriber and leave a comment. And uh, who knows what we'll do. Maybe like a, a Manitoba surf and turf where we'll cook some steak and some sort of fish with it. Or maybe we'll... Colby also knows how to make smoked salmon, and he really likes that. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll do that, do some uh, smoked salmon or something. And maybe... Maybe in one of our next videos, um, maybe we could, like, um, some of you who subscribes, one of our next videos could, like, in the summer, could fish with us. Yeah. So, or even better yet, they could come ice fishing with us. Anyways, so, yeah, if you want to go fishing with us, let us know, because we're always looking for people to keep us company. Anything else, Real Deal? No. Okay, well, thanks for watching. And uh, let us know if you liked our cooking, cooking video, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.